known for dropping paratroopers in Normandy on D-Day. It also flew over the hump in the China Burma. It was a bird very graceful in flight, but the landings by those birds are a circus. Up in Canada, they used this airplane as well. They called it the Dakota. And there was even a gunship version of this built. And it was called Puff the Magic Dragon. Some of those even served into the Vietnam era. I alluded to this before, by the way, that uh, this... All right, here she comes from the right to the left. Camera's up and ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Warplane Museum's own Whiskey 7. on Whiskey 7, maybe you'll be able to see this thing drop out of there. They were just ordered to heave it out. Those of you with really good eyes can see it. Nancy says she sees it. Murrow was there to record it. Here, he reports from a C-47 as a group of American paratroopers parachute into Holland. Waiting to jump. Walking out of this aircraft with no black suits. No armor plating on the ship. We're down just about to the top altitude now. A little more tracer coming up. The nine ships ahead of us have just dropped. Men swinging down in just about 30 seconds now. Our ship will drop, and these 19 men will walk out onto Dutch soil. You can probably hear the snap as they check the lashing on the static line. We're throttled back now. There goes. You hear them shout? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And if the good Lord's willing and the wind allows it, they should be on the field here shortly. That's one of the things you never really know. It depends on the winds. First 
jumper. Now it's safe for Zam. One jumper out front here, getting a little ride he didn't really want. The trick, of course, is to spill that air out of that chute as soon as you can. There you go. Let's hit it. Going to see um, if you're going to take your program home. You can uh, check it out later on. ago. Hopefully we can get him to say a few words in a little while. 
All right, well, while we kill some time here, no way better to do it than with the reigning and 10 time national aerobatic champion, the incomparable Rob Holland. You're going to see him in his full routine later on. No one, no one has ever been American aerobatic champion 10 times. And if you watch that specially built aerobatic plane with Rob at the controls, it's not hard to understand why he is that guy. Ridiculous amounts of G-forces as he pulls up as he did out to the right there. And then the airplane slides sideways through the air. Rob flies, rolls that is off to his right. Almost defying gravity and the laws of aeronautics. This ridiculously powerful airplane that weighs only about 1,200 pounds. So quick. It is actually able to kind of hover in flight depending on the wind. Putting a whole bunch of speed in the bank as he dives down there. And again, he'll be back later with his full routine and we'll tell you a lot more about him and that incredible airplane. They were the aces who flew in World War I, or the doughboys who endured the hell on earth in the trenches. They were the World War II GIs who inched their way to victory. vegetables, lots of them, on your table next winter. You can have your own fresh vegetables on your table this summer if you have your own Victory Garden. Yes, there's no...